discuss this titration in detail. Potassium permanganate versus standard ferrous ammonium sulfate. Ferrous ammonium sulfate is also called more salt. The formula of ferrous ammonium sulfate is FeSO4, NH4 twice SO4, 6 H2O. And the molar mass of more salt, ferrous ammonium sulfate, is 392 gram per mole. Now, why should we take ferrous ammonium sulfate? Ferrous ammonium sulfate, we are using actually the ferrous ions. Now, why don't you use ferrous sulfate? Why are we using ferrous ammonium sulfate, which is a double salt? It is because ferrous sulfate is not a primary standard. Ferrous sulfate will undergo easy oxidation, giving ferric sulfate. So, ferrous sulfate cannot be used as a primary standard due to its instability due to oxidation. So, we are using this ferrous ammonium sulfate solution. Now, potassium permanganate is having permanganate ions MnO4- which is functioning as an oxidizing agent and Fe2 plus of more salt is functioning as a reducing agent or in other words permanganate ions oxidizes ferrous ions getting itself reduced to Mn2 plus manganous ions oxidizing this ferrous ions to ferric ions and this process happens best in acid medium now in acid medium MnO4 minus is changing into Mn2 plus which involves 5 electrons in basic or neutral medium MnO4 minus will be changing into MnO4 minus will be changing into MnO2 in which the oxidate the MnO4 minus in basic or neutral medium is converted to manganese dioxide the oxidation state of manganese in manganese dioxide as you know it is plus 4. So it involves just 3 electrons. That makes MnO4 minus a, an oxidizing agent with a lesser capacity in neutral and basic medium. So we are using acidic medium. Now which acid will you use to acidify the solution? We will be using only sulfuric acid. We will be using only sulfuric acid. The other common acids HCl or HNO3 hydrochloric acid or nitric acid is not used for acidifying the solution because they will interfere with the reaction. HCl is a reducing agent and HNO3 is an oxidizing agent. Both will interfere with this redox reaction. So, in order to acidify the solution, we will be using only sulfuric now, sulfuric acid do not interfere with the reaction. With KMnO4, sulfuric acid do not interfere the oxidizing action of KMnO4. So, for acidification, we have to use only sulfuric acid. Now, we will discuss how we will prepare a standard solution. The standard solution is prepared according to the standard flask given to you. This standard flask is a 250 ml standard flask. So you have to prepare a 250 ml solution. Now you are asked to prepare a standard flask, a standard solution of more salt. How much standard?
standard pass, so you have to prepare 250 ml. Now what is a standard solution? Standard solution is a solution whose concentration is known to you. Now what is the concentration? You are asked to prepare M by 20. M by 20 solution. That means 1 by 20 molar solution. You have to prepare 1 by 20 molar solution of more salt. Now, how much you will prepare? We will prepare 250 ml. Now, 250 ml of M by 20 more salt solution you have to prepare. Now, let us think about what is molarity. Molarity is number of moles of a solute in 1 liter of the solution. So, this means that 1 molar solution of more salt will have 392 grams of it in 1 liter. 392 grams in 1 liter will make 1 molar solution. Now, we want only 250 ml. So, 392 divided by 1000 into 250. If you do, you are getting 1 molar solution but the volume will be 250 ml. Now we don't want 1 molar solution. We want 1 by 20 molar solution. So the calculation is 392 divided by 1000 into 250 divided by 20 which will amount to 4.9 grams. So in short you have to weigh how much? 4.9 grams of more salt in order to prepare 250 ml of M by 20 solution. Ferrous ammonium sulfate or more salt. Very good packing is there in order to prevent the oxidation even if it is more salt. Then also as the time passes, its color changes due to oxidation. Hydrolysis of the salt happens, letting ferrous sulfate free from the salt and it will then undergo oxidation. So the packing is very tight. Beautiful crystals are they pale green in color. If you find more salt as some orangish color and powdery, don't use this. This has undergone hydrolysis and oxidation. So your tighter values will be different. You will get erroneous answers. These are pale green in color and also crystalline. This oxidized form has lost its crystalline nature. It has become powdery and also it has become lumps and the color has also changed. It is a damaged sample. Don't use this. See the weight is 4.9 grams. Four. 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 Transfer. 
water to the funnel using this wash bottle. So that the content of the funnel has gone into the standard class for dating. I will wash the funnel and remove the funnel. And I will dissolve it. Then afterwards it will be better you use 